What's up everybody, here's a bit of an update video for you today just because I'm screwing around with my uh, Tula microphone, this little handy thing right here that is an amazing, amazing leap in technology. Um, and I just want to talk about it a little bit because it is like literally my newest favorite microphone in the world. And uh, I think some other people will agree with me if you've already had a chance to try it out and test it out. I've got my buddy over here who can attest for how good it is. I don't know if you can see that. You got, no, he's running away now. He doesn't want to be on camera, I guess. But um, yeah, this is like my brand new favorite microphone. It's, it's so good and it's reminiscent of my Zoom H2N. Hey, hey, yeah, you're knocking stuff over. Tell you what, having a German Shepherd puppy, even at 10 months, he's a hassle, man. He's a handful, I'll give you that. Ain't that right? It's a big buffalo, knocks everything over. But regardless, this is like, you're really just getting into everything, huh? Anyway, this is like a, a, an amazing leap in technology. And it, although it is not the same as the Zoom H2N, it is a very similar in the sense that it's a mobile recorder that can work with many devices. It re records high quality audio. You can plug external microphones into it. You can monitor yourself, set the gain. There's even built in noise cancellation, which is just like an entire bonus. Like, oh, I'll get to scratches. I'll get to scratches. Oh, get that foot tapping. Get that foot tapping. And you can even see right now with this awesome shot that's out of focus. I have the tool and mic on its built-in stand, which is a really cool thing that I have one gripe with that I don't know how long it's going to last and hold up. I feel like it's it's a cool idea. It's executed well in the design aspect, except for the fact that the inner piece where the stand hooks into the microphone is a little bit mm, unnerving because it seems like it's made of plastic. And I just wonder to myself often, how how many turns, how many movements is it going to take for that to finally break? The actual stand itself is fine. Like, it's I think it's nickel or whatever it is. It's metal, and that's fine. But the inner part where it locks into on the bottom of the microphone itself is like plastic, and it worries me just for long-term effects. Now, am I that worried about it? Not necessarily, because a lot of times what I want to use this mic for is not necessarily having it set on my desk like that. That's not the best situation for talking with it to get the best audio. I take off the stand and, you know, you can hold it out in front of you like this and use it this way and talk and get great quality sound or, you know, hold it like this, you know, kind of like a futuristic version of old tape recorders that people would carry around. like. Captain's Log 1, blah, 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 stuff like that, and this is how I would use it, because it's so small, and you can carry it that way, and uh, do a lot of cool stuff with it. Now, the, the stand is nice, uh, don't get me wrong, it clips in, it, it turns, and even when you want to put it away, it closes over the mic, and it's magnetized, and it's a nice little small package, but, 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 I don't think it's going to last as long as I would hope it would. And that's my biggest gripe with it because it's such a great product, except for that one thing. It sounds great. It's executed well. It's got great technology in it, minus the little engineering blip of the very unique, might I add, mounting system for the stand. And it does come with an, uh, a mount adapter to be able to plug it into something like my boom arm with my SM7B. Um, and... That's nice and all, but if the inner mounting system in the bottom of the microphone itself decides to break, I can't even use the adapter. And so you either got to like make a mount yourself somehow and risk drilling into the microphone and doing something to mess up the internals and the guts of it, or just kind of deal with not being able to mount it to anything without using duct tape. Um, so that's like my biggest gripe with the microphone is just the mounting system and how long I think it will last. Um, but other than that, like, it's such an amazing microphone, and I'm so glad I joined in on the campaign to get it and do the whole Indiegogo thing or whatever it was from. I, I believe it was Indiegogo. It was a crowdfunding thing, and I'm really satisfied with it. I have a lot of uses that I want to 
put it to, and it's just a nice thing to have. Oh, you tired? It's a nice thing to have in your bag of goodies and, and gadgets and stuff, and it's really cool and it looks nice and everything. But um, that mounting system, man, that uh, it worries me. I gotta be honest. But um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much all I had. I just wanted to talk about this microphone. It sits on my desk, and I'm constantly thinking whenever I'm watching videos or playing a game or something. I look over and go, man, I really just want to use it. And um, so yeah, I'm using it right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I always say, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay metal, my friends.